guys, I'm not sure if I understand this dress. I'm sorry, but my boobs have literally just become inverted in this dress. One wrong move and my butt cheek will literally be sliding into someone's DMs. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be quite interesting to basically go on Pretty Little Thing and choose a bunch of dresses for under five pounds. Pretty Little Thing actually have a whole section of dresses for under five pounds on their website and I'm always having a little cheeky look on there just to see what you can actually get. I'm always up for a bargain, especially if it's like a dress for going out. I really don't have a lot of going out dresses, so I thought I would buy a bunch of them and test them for you guys in this video. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. If you do, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below and don't forget to subscribe. Come and join the dinosaur family. You guys, we're 100,000 dinosaurs away from 3 million, which is just insane. Like, can we just take a moment to realize how crazy that is? When we hit 3 million, I will be doing a huge giveaway once again, like I do every single time we hit a million. So make sure you guys stick around and subscribe for that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna crack into this bag. It's actually not a very big bag. I think I picked up maybe five dresses. Um, I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember now. I'm sure you guys are like me and love saving that dollar dollar, so I will link all of the dresses down below if you guys do fancy any of them. So, which one should we start off with? I think I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's basically just a very simple bodycon dress, but I absolutely love the color. The really cool thing about this dress is that it's not just a plain old bodycon dress. It actually has this cutout effect all down the side, just on one side. So that is very cool. And I mean, for five pounds to have something as cool as this, I don't think that's like a lot to pay at all. The fabric of this is actually quite nice. Like it's not too cheap feeling or anything. The bandeau part feels quite stretchy. So if you have a bigger bust, I'm pretty sure this will fit you. I already know I'm gonna have a little bit of a struggle with this side cutout just because I don't have any of those like see-through like clear underwear. So I am probably gonna have my underwear on showing in this dress but let's try it on and see how it looks okay so this is the first dress i actually really really like this the only thing i have to say about this dress is that the strap cutouts on the side are positioned in a very awkward place like i would expect the strap to be a little bit lower like here so that I could actually wear underwear with this and you know, basically be able to conceal that with one of the straps. However, exactly where my underwear usually sits is where the naked part of my skin is. I absolutely love the color and the cutout of it. I think it's really hugging the body in all the right places, so it's very flattering. And for five pounds, I mean, like I said, you can't go wrong. And I really like the fact that the cutout is only on one side and not both, because I just feel like it would be a little bit too much on both sides. But because it's just on one side, it's like a really nice statement but it's not too much. I really love this dress. I'm gonna give it a huge thumbs up. So the next dress I have is a camo dress, which looks like this. It's kind of hard to show, but it's only one like shoulder. It's only got one sleeve, which is really strange. I have to say, I'm not usually a fan of like one shoulder slash one sleeve type of clothing because I kind of feel like I would just look really ridiculous in it, but I just thought I'd give it a shot and I really, really like the cut of this dress. It's very like bodycon again. It's gonna be super nice, tight fitting and hugging to the body. This fabric, I have to say, feels that little bit cheaper than the previous dress I showed you guys, but I mean for five pounds, like you can't really go wrong. So without further ado, let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, with this dress, I honestly have no idea how I scraped this onto my body and I don't even wanna think about how I'm gonna get it off. It is literally so tight and short and I literally can't even move this arm. This is as far as my arm can physically go in this dress. I'm sorry, but my boobs have literally just become inverted in this dress. This dress is just way too tight. I feel like one wrong move and my butt cheek will literally be sliding into someone's DMs. Jesus Christ, it's just so tight. I can't move in this dress. I wanted to give this style another shot, but I just don't think I'm vibing with it. Like. It's just not my cup of tea, I think. So yeah, how am I actually gonna scrape this off now? I have no clue. Ma, I need your help. Can you help me get this dress off? The next dress is a nude one. You guys know I love my nude clothing. To be honest, 
All I ever wear is nude white and maybe like black sometimes. So this is definitely no surprise. But I saw this dress and again it was five pounds and I just fell in love. It just looked so good on the model. So basically it's like a v-neck sort of dress. But then it's also like cold shoulder and it has like a little sleeve which I think is really cool. Again when I saw this on the website I did not expect that this would be five pounds. It looks so much more expensive. I feel like they literally could get away with charging 15 pounds for this. And the fabric is super nice. It's very stretchy and just really comfortable. So I can't wait to try this on. I am 100% sure I'm going to love this. Okay, you guys, I knew that I would love this dress from the start. I just love everything about it. It's definitely a tiny bit on the sheer side. Like, you can probably see my underwear underneath, but you can always just wear nude underwear. I love the shape of it. It's just so nice fitting, and I really like the sleeves. I feel like it's a really nice way to do the whole cold shoulder trend. This dress is kind of versatile as well, because I feel like it would be fine for, like, a day dress, but also you could dress it up and wear it out for the evening. You could 100% never tell that this is five pounds that is literally crazy it's so nice for five pounds this dress is just so simple and i really really love the quality of it as well so if you've been looking for a nude dress like this i would 100 percent recommend getting this one because it's only five pounds and the quality is so good the next dress i have is hot pink <laughs> literally look at my face next to it like it's kind of radiating a hue of hot pink on my face right now that's how pink it is i never wear anything like this like i never wear neon colors but when i saw this it looked kind of cool so i wanted to give it a go and again it's only five pounds so you can't really go wrong if i don't like it i'll just send it back does this go around my neck i'm so confused right now i really hope that this isn't it because my chest is gonna be out to you guys you guys i'm not sure if i understand this dress oh actually i think you like twist it and then put that over your head and then do that? Is that how it... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how the model was wearing it. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Let's try it on. Okay, this dress is literally ridiculous. I honestly didn't think how this would sit on my body and I just really don't like it. I'm literally having to hold it right in the middle because if I let go, you will be flashed and I definitely don't want to flash you guys. It's a tad too revealing for my taste, but if that's something you guys enjoy, then I would 100% recommend this dress. I think it's really fun for like parties, but I just don't really like the fact that it's very like exposing in the chest area. I obviously, I obviously saw it on the model, but I thought, oh, maybe I can make it work, but I honestly don't think I can and I just don't think I could ever wear this dress out, but I could totally see someone wear this dress to a party, maybe in like Ibiza or something. The color is so vibrant and it's kind of really not my taste, but I really wanted to give it a shot and see how I felt about it and I have to say, I'm giving this one a thumbs down you guys the next dress i have to try is a white one i don't remember this one actually oh yes i do remember this so basically it's again like a over the neck type of deal and then it goes over your chest but then it's got like this cutout thing. So it's kind of like, it looks almost like a two piece. And then it's also got these little wrap around things down the sides. I'm gonna have to look on the website how to properly put this on because I can't really remember. The fabric feels a little bit like see-through almost, just a tad. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too see-through. But the fabric is super, super soft. And again, very stretchy. So I feel like this will be a very comfortable dress to wear. So let's try it on. I'm gonna say this one's a little bit of a clickbait to be honest. I mean, it definitely doesn't really look like the pretty little thing picture. It feels kind of cheaply made now that I'm wearing it. And also it's so see-through. Like I'm actually kind of glad that I'm wearing different colored underwear so you guys can see how see-through these dresses are. Even if I wore white underwear with this dress, I just feel like you could still see the outline of my underwear, which obviously isn't very appealing. This tie thing right here is just very strangely positioned. Like it just keeps coming down like this. And this part, the top part, is so tiny you can actually see the underneath of my bra now i'm not too sure if you're meant to wear this without a bra and kind of have like an under boob but i'm not really into that and it wasn't really showing that in the picture so i assumed that this would actually fit over my chest so it's kind of a shame that it doesn't but i mean i probably wouldn't recommend for you guys to buy this one just because it is so so see-through and it's not really one of my favorites but yes those are just my thoughts on this dress let me know what you guys think down below i then have another beigey nude sort of dress now this one is very simple and very plain but there's something that i really liked about it so this is it it's just like a cami 
slash bodycon dress. And it just makes me think of like a dress that maybe Kylie or Kim would wear. It's definitely got those Kardashian vibes. And this was only five pounds, so it's not breaking the bank balance. I'm absolutely loving the shape and cut of this dress. I'm really hoping that it's gonna give me some of those Kardashian curves. So let's whack it on and see how it looks. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I absolutely am in love with this dress. This is definitely one of those dresses that's super casual and simple, but you can totally dress it up with some jewelry or like a nice jacket. So I feel like this simple cami bodycon dress is just right up my street. It fits super nice. Again, I would probably have to switch out my underwear for a pair of nude ones. I really like the fact that this dress is super simple, but it's got this like slight edging at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see from this far away, but it's kind of like an overlap of the dress at the hem. I think it's like a really nice touch to make the dress a little bit more nicely fitted to the body. This is definitely something that I would see Kim K wear and it has come through and it really just cinches you in in all the right places. So I am loving it. So those are all of the dresses. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful because I know that sometimes dress shopping can be very difficult and very expensive as well. So when I saw these really inexpensive dresses, I just needed to try them out. And I'm sure some of you guys have probably been wondering if they're any good as well, because sometimes when you pay the price, you get what you pay for. It's obviously not gonna be like Chanel quality or anything, but I feel like with these dresses, you definitely get good value for money. I will have all of the dresses linked down below so you guys can check them out if you liked any of them. Do let me know which one of these dresses was your favorite. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. And also don't forget to subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Sunday in my next video. Bye. Mwah.